Are you bad at art? <laughs> are you like me? Can you not do anything in art other than modern? Stick around because I'm gonna show you how to make three different types of wall art that even non-artists can do. It's art, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm Caitlin. And I'm Cassie. And we're the DIY Sisters. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Cassie, one half of the DIY Sisters, and this week we're making modern wall art. I had these three canvases. I was hoping to make like a set of three that someone could put in their homes. However, it didn't go down like that. These are actually photos I took. So uh, this is from Sri Lanka, this is from Turkey, and this is from Germany. Uh, and I just, I had these in my apartment for a long time in New York and it's just time for a change and I want to try to do something fun and see if we can sell it. apartment for a really long time it's really big so I want to do something really fun to this but we're definitely in it, gonna need to cover it up it's gonna probably take quite a few layers of primer but then I'm gonna put joint compound on so I don't it doesn't have to be completely perfect but um yeah I bought this for $20 in New York and um, I want to try to do something really cool to it and I feel like I could maybe sell it for a lot let's hope so at least Okay, let's let this dry and then we'll do one more quick coat, but again, I'm covering this in joint compound, so it'll be chill. We're, we're keeping it relaxed. I'm feeling um, happily sentimental about like the joy that these pieces have brought me and like brought me for a long time. And you know, it's fun to repurpose them. I'm not gonna use them again, so I don't know. Anybody else get like too attached to things? <laughs> Anybody else a little too sentimental? Because cause, cause I am. It's not that big of a deal, I promise. <laughs> like so much fun. <laughs> I'm enjoying this a lot. I think this will look really cool actually. I don't know if this is like interesting, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one, but you need a kind of a base for whatever you do for the most part. Now I could not figure out what design to do for this one. I mean, I honestly just didn't have a vision and I thought I could wing it, but spoiler alert, if you're not artistic, you can't just expect to get inspired. You have to have a plan. Okay, it's getting scrapped again. I just don't like it. It just doesn't feel like a collection of the others. So, let's see what happens. Don't do what I did, have a plan. This whole canvas gets scrapped at the end. I'm really happy with my little collection, I think. It turned out really great and I can't wait to paint them. Okay, so I picked up these paints from the ReStore for $5. This color is Greenbrier Beige and this one is Van Buren Brown. Kind of a very classic looking beige. Okay, and so I don't have like a total plan. You know, I will am kind of winging it. I'll let you go, just need some time. At your own pace, you need to 
fly away I'm like obsessed with the checkered one. <laughs> All right, so that khaki is done and let's go into the brown. Very brown, classic brown. One would, one might say. I packed our bags when we on our way. So that's interesting. I do wonder like who would want to put that in their home? Pretty brown and it's pretty beige, you know? I'm like, would anybody really want to hang that up? <laughs> or is it just not my style? Too much brown, too much khaki, honestly. So, but I think it's good anyway. Again, I'm not an artist, but I'm gonna go in with black and white and blend and do some, try to do some interesting like colors to create like a richer brown and a lighter, more interesting beige. trick to be an artist is just to use like a lot of paint like I feel like they always use so much paint is looking pretty good like I might hang this up somewhere as opposed to that see the difference <laughs> this is so much richer and that's definitely what it needs to not be just poop brown in your house okay so this is what they're looking like now I am feeling good about this one and I'm feeling bad about this one and I'm feeling in the middle about this one <laughs> Okay, I just don't like these, so I don't know what to, I'm gonna do, but I'm just gonna cover this whole thing in black and then go from there. Just on this one, though. I don't like the final products or anything. I just wanna paint and do some stuff to it till I like it. You know, I had the other one hanging up. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's hanging up inside and I like it. Like I'm I'm liking the way that that looks. That night I went to Pinterest for inspiration and found this photo. I just thought it was really cool and that I could make it with string and tissue paper and so let's do it. Okay, so I'm just taking my mixture and between where the tape is, I'm just gonna glue it down. So hopefully this works. You see, it's not sticking down, which isn't good. There's a very simple solution here, just hot glue it. <laughs> um, just do little dots around and then the paint will bind the rest. So don't, don't do this. So I'm gonna let this dry for a final time and then I'm gonna paint it. Also, is this completely, do I have faith that this is completely glued down? No. Uh, I'm kinda hoping the paint will do that for me. Now, technically the painting this was a superfluous step, but I just didn't wanna hot glue it because it was all wet and gooey and gluey. So I just was like, let me let the paint do it. So if you're going to do this, just hot glue it don't worry about painting it to the very end.
right, now all this is done. I am loving the way it's looking. I think it's gonna look really cool. We're gonna, I'm gonna put down some tissue to try to make it look a lot more matte. And let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna start with putting a layer of the glue mixture down, then putting this on and putting another layer. Now this is just Elmer's glue and water. All right, let's see how it dries. And uh, yeah, hopefully it gives us that rice paper texture that I'm looking for. So this hasn't completely dried yet. I did another coat on top of it, but I started kind of just doing a test patch over here to see what it would look like. And I think it's looking cool. Arrowroot powder. Um, it's very similar to cornstarch. So I just want to make this look matte. coat of paint done it looks really cool I think the paint helped add some weight to this to make the um, edges more defined which is good but um, we'll see how it dries uh, there's some things I would do differently but I will tell you about that right now here's what I would have done differently one I would not have put joint compound on there the only reason I did that is because I thought I was gonna do something else you know that was not the original plan so don't put joint compound on there two I would use a larger string the string I used was pretty small and I think its impact is a little is a little too small three I would have laid down the tissue paper in like strips of like one or two inches just to really get it into the nooks and crannies because as you can see it kind of bubbles over the string a little bit because I just did one giant thing of tissue so it didn't really get into the nooks and crannies like I hoped it would have. It's looking very cool. Uh, it's very matte. Um, I just need to do an another coat to cover up all these like little spots. But I think if you modify those things that I did wrong, I think you could get really close to this picture texture. I love how matte it is. I love how the tissue paper looks like the rice paper. I think it would look even more like the rice paper if you do what, I su what I'm suggesting. But um, yeah, I think it was, a, it was a great project, so I highly recommend. We're gonna have to try again another time. We will do a redemption episode and figure out what we're gonna do with this canvas. <laughs> if you're enjoying this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. We post new videos every Wednesday and we're having a blast doing it. Now let's finally get to our third and final wall art project. This last painting was just something I, I was inspired by DIY Dahlia. She has a painting like this in her home. It's really simple, but I think it works for something that's so large. You don't want this like crazy, busy, insane piece of art when it's this big. And I think like the simple modern look is really effective in people's homes. Yeah, so that feels like it's pulling that way. And then this just feels like it's pulling more this way. I would say this is subtle, but I think when, when the paint goes on, it'll, you'll be able to see it more because I'll have two different types. And when we do this side, it's going to be like a cream and the other side will be like a black. So it's kind of interesting. It's creating an interesting texture that I like. You can see like that's the sideways texture and then this is the downward texture. But okay, we're going to let that dry and then Probably overnight, yeah, definitely overnight, and then I'll paint it. It's just black, black from there, nothing crazy. Oh, 
definitely excited about this one because I already like it. Like that's something I would hang on a wall already and I need to paint this like a white creamy color. And yeah, so if nobody wants this, then I'll put it in my house in Florida. I don't know if you can see it, but I did a little tester and this is uh, table linen by Bear in uh, flat. And I like that one better. So this is just the primer and this is lychee. And pretty good, I'm liking it. I just need to do a few touch-ups and I wanna make this a really crispy line. And then we'll be done. So I like the texture we put on it. It's not too much, but you can definitely see it. And I like the simplicity of the black and the white. This will look perfectly in my beach house. So if nobody wants it, I will put it there without blinking an eye. I think that looks pretty cool. What do we think? I like the sharp lines. I think it makes it more interesting. Without further ado, here are all the final products. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next Wednesday. Vintage looking, oh, there's a squirrel.